Good afternoon. Welcome back, everyone. Our first item of business today is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader is Rabbi Mark Solomon, Sukkot Shalom, the Edinburgh Liberal Jewish Community. Rabbi. Presiding officer, members of the Scottish Parliament, last week I had the privilege of being at the Usher Hall when the First Minister unveiled a plaque honouring the Jewish contribution to the Edinburgh International Festival, celebrating its 70th anniversary this year. Sir Rudolf Bing was an Austrian Jewish refugee from Nazism who founded the festival in 1947. I was especially moved to learn that the great conductor, Bruno Walter, was reunited during that inaugural festival with his former orchestra, the Vienna Philharmonic, which he had not conducted since fleeing Nazi persecution. The festival, in the wake of the Second World War, was to provide a platform for the flowering of the human spirit. Like so many people then, and sadly today, those founders knew how humans could be crushed by bigotry and oppression but they also had faith that the human spirit could revive and flourish in an atmosphere of freedom and enlightenment, such as Scotland had and still has to offer. The plaque also celebrates 200 years of Jewish life in Edinburgh, since the first congregation was established in 1817. Earlier that afternoon, I had joined an Edinburgh Jewish history walk and visited the site of that long-vanished synagogue, as well as the locations of the last kosher butcher and baker in the city. The Jewish community in Scotland may have changed and dwindled in numbers, but continues to be a vibrant part of the wonderful mosaic of faiths and communities that flourish here. That event last week didn't just look backwards, though, but forwards as well. With the First Minister, we saw a presentation of the proposed new Scottish Jewish Cultural Centre, which would bring under one roof both the venerable Edinburgh Hebrew Congregation and my much newer Edinburgh Liberal Jewish Community, as well as many other cultural and social activities. Two weeks tomorrow, we Jews celebrate our Jewish New Year, Rosh Hashanah, which also looks both back and forwards, not just back to the old year with all its deep problems, and forward to a new year which, we pray, will bring better things, but much further back to the story of our shared human origins and forward to a time of universal fellowship and peace. I'm deeply honored to offer this short reflection as you begin your new parliamentary term. You too are used to diverse views existing, coexisting under one roof, but all striving to achieve a better future for the people of Scotland. As you seek the flowering of the human spirit here in Scotland, through debate and dialogue, I wish you the Hebrew greeting of Shana Tovah, a happy new parliamentary year. Thank you very much. <laughs> 